I, I would like Halia to be go fight a spoon. <laughs> Do it now. <laughs> okay. Yes, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here today, checking out some Guildmaster Gratuitous Subtitle. No, really, that's the title of the game. Check it out. It's like right there. Guildmaster Gratuitous Subtitle. Some turn-based tactical combat in a fantasy setting with, I am led to believe, a good and healthy dose of humor applied within. And you guys know I love a game that doesn't take itself too seriously. So I did want to check this out. I was approached by the developer who said, hey, this looks like the sort of thing that you might play on your channel. And I said, hey, you're pretty much right. Let's check out some Guildmaster Gratuitous subtitle. Not out yet, coming out on, I believe, December 7th is the release date for this as I record this. I did leave a link to the Steam page down below, so if you want to go check out some Guildmaster Gratuitous subtitle for yourself, that's where you can go ahead and do it. As is extremely common, I've done absolutely nothing except fire this up and hit record and change a couple of settings. What I am looking at right now is all I know about the game, so let's just jump into some Guildmaster gratuitous subtitle and check it out. Are you the one who summoned me? Um, broadly, yeah, I, I kind of put the put the game on and, and then we're playing. Summoned you? No, I just received a cryptic letter promising a great reward if I were to be at this grove at this time on this day. I'm here because I got the same letter. Already a deep mystery here. I got a letter, Goblin 37. Goblin 37, you're already my favorite. The look on your face is just priceless. The look on your face just says, what, 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 what am I doing here? Did either of you, oh, and contestant number four, everybody a goblin, kill it, kill it, says Elmar. Oh, Elmar, you might be my second favorite, but not not before Goblin 37. You're already my favorite goblin. So it looks like we're swinging right into some combat here. I am going through the tutorial. Shut up, I'm going through the tutorial. Stop laughing, I've never played this game before. So click on my character, Halia. Right, so you've got what I'm going to assume is 16, 16 health and 12 other things. Okay, so I'm going to click on you. Right, and then if I right click, I can. Okay, it's energy. Okay, energy. Got it. So, what have you got going on here? Toughness, agility, willpower, evasion, movement speed, energy per turn, the amount of energy restored at the end of each turn, and that's dependent on willpower. Okay, so better willpower means we get more energy back at the end of each turn. And you got some armor on you. You got some armor. Uh, you, you, you go away. I. I don't want to see you no more. So each of my heroes can move and then take an action. Pretty standard turn-based tactical stuff there. Take a move and then do a thing. Select a hero by clicking on them in the battlefield. Click on Halea. Okay. Can do. Oh, and I've got her movement range. All right. That's pretty standard stuff right here. No surprises here. And then I want to move you. Unfortunately, I think we're attacking Goblin 37, who is, again, my favorite goblin. Uh, no, no, we're, we're killing the goblin. Hurry, kill it, kill the goblin. Elmar, you're, you're intense, man. All right. Hele is a melee fighter and can only attack an adjacent tile. Ranged attacker, like, uh, what's your name again? Gwenel. Gwenel. And then move Gwenel to a new position. Well, how about right here, Gwenel? Select the precise shot. Okay. What else have I got? I've got a regular arrow shot, a precise shot, and forest walker. Can I can I figure out what that does? Uh, passive ability, ranged accuracy is increased 10% when questing in forest envi environments. Okay, that, that makes sense. So I want to do this shot here. All right, so I'm going to click this, and then I'm going to fire. I'm very sorry about this, Goblin 37. It's the tutorial. I don't have a choice in this. And she takes a shot. Boom. I'm so sorry, Goblin 37. I'm really, really sorry. So Goblin 37 took one damage, and Gwenna lost four energy. How much How much do you have left? Uh, sorry, you you go away. I've, I've done your bit. All right, I'll, I'll do your bit again. And Goblin 37 comes in for a pretty beefy hit on Halea here. Goblin used a special attack that caused a vulnerability status. Oh dear. Um, can I... I sort of see that on your car. I can if this thing went away. Select Halea, select the Mighty Slash from the action menu. Hover over the pop-up above the action button to see more details. Okay, so this is your Mighty Slash. What does your Goblin Insight do? What is that? Goblins are unable to evade attacks. Oh, that's good. 
And um, and what's this bit? Oh, it's just the same thing. Never mind. Never mind. I'm going to mighty slash you, Goblin37. Really sorry about this. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that was some lovely bludgeoning. Oh, Elmar, it was slashing. <laughs> My name is Elmar, and I've summoned you both out here to test your worthiness for membership in an adventurer's guild. Pleased to inform you both that you've proven yourselves remarkably skilled. You may consider this an invitation. You've essentially just engaged us in a tryout for your guild without telling us. When you put it that way, it sounds so deceptive. I'm offering you the opportunity of a lifetime adventure. As the leader of the Guild of Adventurers, your duty is to guide and protect the members of the guild. Through the power of the great teleport crystal, you'll direct the battle and cast spells to aid your heroes or harm their enemies. Despite, decide on the appearance of your guildmaster and select a starting spell. As the guildmaster grows in power, more spells will be unlocked. So this is me, is it? Well, I'm basically happy with what we've got here. Talk to me about spells. Uh, what does this do? Restores four health. Okay, very standard stuff there. Four energy. Fantastic. Grants a protection effect. Reduces damage taken from each attack by 25% for three turns. Very nice. Grants a strength effect. So more damage for three turns. Magical blast of freezing elemental energy strikes one enemy. Okay, I already love it. Three damage and reduces their energy by four. Sold. Done. Now, some other folks might have taken the healing spell or the defensive spell, but no, no, I'm going to freeze people in place because it's cool. I'm the guild master and this is the guild. I'm the master of it, you know, so don't get any funny ideas. I established this guild as a place for adventurers to gather and form questing parties. Isn't it lovely? Was that a rhetorical question? I'll just be off to inspect the guild now, talking to myself as, I'm, as if I'm showing someone around. When in the guild, you can move around freely. Okay. It's just me or other people. Green highlights will show walkable areas. Click somewhere. Okay. Uh, go over here. Yay, we went over there. Click someone in the guild to talk to them. Okay. I'm going to go talk to Halea here. She's kind of fidgety. Hello. Ask about skills or leave. I'm going to ask about your skills. I've spent years fighting goblins. Yeah, we kind of addressed that. You totally nailed Goblin 37. I'm really sorry, Goblin 37. They're tricky, but I know their moves. Sounds like a long battle. Who won in the end? You were the goblins. Ah, I see what you did there, Guildmaster. I think I placed a 10 gold bet on the goblins to win, but I bet on you to place and show. What are your areas of expertise in fighting the goblins? I wear heavy armor and my shield keeps me safe. I use swords and axes, pointy things. My favorite pointy thing is that stick people use to point at all the different elements of a scale model when they're going over a secret plan. Yeah, mine too, actually. Scale models are luxuries I've never been able to afford. Okay, you're allowed to point at other stuff, not just the model. One time I used my stick to point at a chicken. Okay, why is like 75% of the games on my channel somehow come around to a chicken at some point? There I was in the midst of pointing to the more impressive bits of the scale model when who should wander in but the aforementioned chicken. I whipped my pointy stick to within an inch of its beak and said, Hey everybody, a chicken has discovered our secret plan. <laughs> Okay, I, I know this is like turn-based tactical and we should go fight something, but this is good stuff here. <laughs> All right, Halea, yeah, we kind of know about you. Um, oh, wait, you have a magic item. Oh, that's, that's kind of cool. Can I, can I learn about that? Not right now. Click on the door and go to the main hall. The main hall contains the great teleport crystal. The guild steward at the desk can inform you about any currently available quests. Elmar is here to meet with you and has brought someone. Yeah, probably unwillingly. But let's go talk to rather xenophobic Elmar here. How goes the search for new heroes? This is Aspalia, a young mage with much promise. Good morrow, guildmaster. I hope to learn much here. I'm sure the other element of the list will be happy to share their wisdom. Please consider this your new home. I shall endeavor to become a valuable addition to the guild. All this politeness and formality is making me nauseous. Me too, Elmar. I'm right with you on that one. I'm off to search for more fools. I mean, champions. Farewell, Elmar. Okay, explore the guild. All right, let's go do some things here. So what lives over in this room? What is this? This is the training room. Sometimes find guild members here practicing their skills if you wish to speak with them. Okay, uh, anything of note in here right now? No, some training dummies and an archery range and 
Can I, can I click on this? Can I see what's going on here? Melee weapons. Never touch the things myself. I used to try, but they cut me every time. Turns out I was grabbing them by the wrong end. This is the Enchanter's room and also where the guild's equipment is stored. Enchanter can assist the party with passive bonuses during their quest. Speak with her to see what enchantments are available. Okay, I will do that. Hello, Guildmaster. Ask about enchantments. Yes, please. Ooh, this costs money, though. Right, so we gotta spend some money for this. Like melee weapon critical hits. Melee weapons have a chance to double damage while this enchantment is active. Chance of a critical hit is equal to agility as a percentage. All right, vitalism aura of protection. What do you do for a living? I uh, will automatically grant a 25% protection effect to adjacent heroes while this enchantment is active. Well, I can't afford any of these. Do I, do I have any gear? All these chests, chests are interactable. This is where we keep all the golden items and my commemorative plates. All right, nothing in there right now. Fair enough. And the last room is the library. Contains some books relevant to my duties as Guildmaster. The intricacies of combat, magic, and the creatures you are likely to encounter. Well, what's going on with the librarian, who's very casual with your foot up on the desk? Can't you see I'm reading? I need a book. Ask the Golem. Okay. Gollum, can I have a book, please? How may I serve? Something on the history of the realm? Something something on the history of the realm. What have you got? This ponderous tome meets these criteria. Yup, I'm going to have the book. Oh, I, I'll, I'll put the book away. Oops, sorry. Sorry, I'm going to get the book again. History of the Realm by Cedric the Aged. And so it came to pass that in the second age of men that, oh dear, I feel a sneeze coming on. Why am I writing in this book that I have a sneeze coming on and not merely sneezing and then getting on with it? Because I'm hoping you'll invoke a blessing from the gods after I actually do sneeze. Oh, and don't worry, I'll be sure to tell you when I've sneezed. If you're lucky enough to get a first edition, you may even see a few wet spots where I've forgotten to cover my nose. Or maybe I'll wind up wiping my hand all over the manuscript. It depends. Oh, hang on. Here it is. Hear it? No, it got away from me. What do they say is the best way to induce a sneeze? Look at the sun. Oh dear, I've just looked at the sun. Not only have I not sneezed, I'm now completely blind. I can't even see the words I'm writing. I hope they're the right ones. Wouldn't it be something if I was writing words other than the ones I meant to write? Yes, that would be something. If you're reading this, please write to me and let me know if these are the right ones. I tell you my address, but robbed of sight, I'm afraid I have no idea where I am anymore. It won't matter much what would you send me, though. I'm blind, you know. I'll just have to... Crinkle up your letter and chuck it into the fire, wherever that is. Please write to tell me. Now where was I? Ah yes, the second age of men. They say that when you lose one sense, the other's sharpened to make up for its loss. Well, my sense of digression has never been sharper. The second age of men, as it came to be known, was also the fourth age of women. Yes, there were two ages wherein boys weren't allowed. Just like my clubhouse. Okay, okay, we should probably go, we should probably go fight something. Um, I'll, I'll leave you guys to read the rest of the book by yourself. There's quite a few more pages on sneezing and, um, lack of sneezing. Sneezing is disgust. Oh, it's good stuff. Um, right, uh, Guild Stewart will keep, yeah, we're gonna do some combat. We're not just gonna read the funny book. Sits behind the desk in the main hall, talk to him to put together a party and select a quest. All right, here we go. Questin' time. Okay, okay, here we go. Here, Here's my current guild members. So there's the two that we already know about, the three, actually. Who are you? What's your deal? Uh, you're Uth, and you're into blunt weapons. All right, your special ability is stoutness. Shrug off stun effects. So oh, that is very good, isn't it? Okay. Poor willpower, though. Not great on the willpower. And you are Dalek, edged weapons, and vitalism. Right. You have a vitalism wand. Oh, we should have you. Yeah, we, we should have you. Um, I want to I wanna go do a quest. Our first quest is to eradicate some slimes that have infested a nearby mine. Okay. Yeah. Um, we're doing that, right? Yeah, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Slime infestation in a mine. 200 gold to do it. Click on the quest in panel above to select it and see its description. I want to do that. Thank you very much. And prepare the party. Okay, I want to prepare my party here. List of inventory items in my storeroom. Oh, I had tons of stuff in my storeroom. I was swimming in things in my storeroom. Don't tell me my chests are empty. Click the shop button to switch to a list of items available for purchase. Oh, okay. 
Um, can I sell things? That's always very, very important to me. Filter displayed items by type. Select one of the items to see its actions. Choose a weapon and buy it. Okay. Ah, items can be returned for full price unless they've been taken on a quest. All right, so you, you break it, you buy it is, is what I'm reading here. If you take it out on the road, you can't sell it back, but they will have a used price. They'll sell for half price. So I can sell them back provided they haven't been used for full price or if I've used them half price. I'll, oh, what's Apprentice Staff of Firestorm? I, I want to I wanna look at that. Why won't you let me look at that? No, it's fine. It's fine. I was just stuck in tutorial ninja phase. It just desperately wanted me to click on the sword item so we could look at anything really. So a steel longsword, it can do a slash, it can do the mighty slash, and the penetrating stab. Ooh, ignores target's damage resistance. I like the sound of them. I'm not spending 100 gold on it, even if I can bring it back for half price. All right, I don't... I don't actually want to buy that item game. Are you going to be Tutorial Ninja-y enough that I don't have to buy this? No, you're not. Okay, you're going to make me buy that. I'm going to sell it right back to you. Just saying, going to sell it right back to you. I want to take this lady, Dalek here. Actually, I don't necessarily know that you're female. It, it, you're, you're an elf, so you're sort of inherently gender neutral. Anyway, I want to take you. You don't actually have any gear. I should probably, I thought you came with gear, but yeah, I want to, I want to add you and I'll add the, the elementalist here. What's meditate? What does that do for a living? Focus on restoring energy, doubling energy re regeneration rate next turn. Okay, cool. Uh, and then we'll take, oh, we'll take the archer. That definitely, I got to have a ranged weapon. And then we'll take Halia here, the fidgety one. Okay. Now I, I think I have to equip all these people. So there's the long sword that I just bought, and I'm going to give that to Halia. I do see this auto equip up here, which is kind of tempting, but at least for right now, I'm just going to keep going down the line. Mostly I just want to see what I've got. Do I have, I have no real magic items. What are the ice bombs? What do they do for a living? Throw a large flask of elemental cold, reduces energy and affects all time. Oh, it's a, it's a frost grenade. All right. And so, um, not to you. But I do like the sound of that. Well, you're good. You're fine. You know what? Give me somebody else, please. All right, you. You need a bow. Actually, simple short bow. I also saw heavy crossbow here. What does that do? That does two damage for a regular attack or four for power. And the simple short bow does two and two. Well, it seems to me that you should have a crossbow because that's just inherently better. Now, why do I not have the option to equip this? Can you not use a crossbow? Maybe you can't use a crossbow. It says bow. Doesn't necessarily say also crossbows. All right, have your regular old bow. Do I want to give you anything else? No, not at this time, thank you. Now, you, you are going to have this novice staff of Firestorm that I was trying to take a look at before. That does some nice little damage there. Four damage and one per turn for three turns because you're going to be on fire. And wind blast. Um, I can't, I can't see because the thing is in the way. Uh, we're push two tiles. Okay, so we're doing a knockback. We're doing damage and a knockback. Oh, that seems very, very good. We should have one of them. And you, maybe I'll give you the ice bombs. You're all kind of elementally anyway. Yeah, why don't you have these? Oh, I can't. Oh, you can't have them. All right. I don't know why you can't have them. That hasn't been addressed yet. But I guess you're just stuck with this. And you, Sparky here, uh, what's your deal? Edge weapons? Okay, how about uh, how about an axe? What does that do for a living? Two and four. A lot of energy to do this mighty slash, but that, that's probably okay. All right, you're going to have that. Can you have the ice bombs? No. Who gets the ice bombs? Who, whom would, would these be appropriate to? I don't know the answer to that. What's your second thing? Oh, a vitalism slot. Is that one of them? Yeah, it sure is. Okay, I kind of figured it would be. Right. I think we're ready to rock. Well, we're here, and so am I. I guess I'm sort of overseeing this from wherever it is I am, probably in the guild. Let's go. There doesn't seem to be an order, a turn order, so I can just kind of pick anyone that I want. Go to a door and open it. Can I get anyone actually next to the door? Uh, how about if you just come up here? Can you open the door? Oh, you can. Oh, it's right down here. Okay. Uh, yeah, open the door. What do we got? Nothing. Okay, but you could move a little bit farther. Oh, hang on. I probably... Oh, I should have backed you up. 
Alrighty. Okay, so let's make sure we've got plenty of movement left before we go in the door. Uh, well, you know what? We've just created our own choke point here, so we're just going to have to live with it, aren't we, kids? Okay, the turn-based tactical stuff has just completely collapsed immediately on my end. Nobody's particularly surprised by that information. Three slimes in here. Can I tell anything about you? An earth slime, you are an ice slime, and you're a fire slime. Okay, good. Let's end our turn. I know you can do a lot of things. Actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, I'm not sure. Can you... What's your range on this? Oh, you could just take this guy right now. I mean, obviously, I don't think I should use fire against the fire slime, but can I use fire against the ice slime? Yeah, I can. Oh, yeah, you're vulnerable and you're dead. All right, good good first round there. Now, can you, can you hit this guy from where you are? Apparently, you can. Okay. Better than I thought. Right, one's already down, one's injured. And that turn, yes, we are fine. No, we don't need to heal anyone. We actually haven't taken any damage yet. Slimes ahoy, and then fire slimes coming in too. Did you just miss? Oh, that's the best news I've heard all day. Okay, let's spread out a little here, people. Spread out. You go over here, and then you... A wind blast? Well, if I knock the fire slime back, it's only going to go into the wall. There's nowhere to knock it back. How about the fire blast? How much energy is this going to take up? Wow, it is a lot of energy, isn't it? You have a lot of energy, though. You're good on energy. Okay, fire fire blast that guy. Good. Burning? He, yeah, this, that's going to be one point for three rounds. Uh, you, why don't you get as far away as possible? Come on over here, and let's just see if we can just take this guy out. Less people trying to slime us, the better, I say. And then you, you're all up in people's faces, fighty, fighty. So come on over here. And just, I think just a regular attack will be fine. This guy's almost dead. And in fact, he's dead. He's super dead now. Again, I don't know the gender of slimes, but we'll just say it's a he. You, uh, rem sorry, remind me what you do again. Oh, you're into hitting people. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, you're going to take the brunt of the fire slime. So off we go. Just do a regular slash with your axe. Minus two. Great. Good. Good round, I think. Good, sensible round there. Okay, you're on fire, which is less optimal than I would like it to be. Less optimal. So who's got the healing thing? That is not you, not you. Oh, it's you, isn't it? Yeah, you, you will end up healing yourself. See what the wind blast does. I don't think it's going... Oh, I can choose the knockback. Oh, that's fun. Okay, yeah, do that then. Yeah, there we go. Didn't like that one bit, did you? Yeah, you're all on fire and angry over there. You, can you just stay right there and shoot this guy? How much energy do you have? Uh, quite enough to do what I want to do. Okay, do a precise shot over there. And good. Okay. Now what do we do? Well, Dalek here took a little point of damage for burning through that round, but I'm being advised to check myself. Okay, yeah, I know. I've got my freezing rain thing. I don't really want to do that right now, but thank you. Um, you, I guess we'll just head towards this door, and then I guess you may as well heal yourself. So do I just heal you like that? There we go. Yay! I'm a little bit more healthy now. Aspalia, I should keep an eye on your energy because your things use up a lot of energy, and you're already my favorite, most powerfully is setting people on fire and then blowing them backwards with wind character. So I want to make sure you can continue to do that. All right, nothing to do here. We're just heading for the door. Yep, I know I know I can do my freezing rain. We'll do that later. Don't worry, we're going to get on to that. Ah, it's still burning for a little bit, but that's fine. I think you're basically done burning. Let's send you in to open the door now. I can't actually get in that far. Um, is that going to block pathing? No, I can just skate right by your tile. Okay, then I'm just going to come in here, see what lives here. Ooh, nothing at all. Nothing at all. No door, just that passage out. Okay, well then everyone just come in. We're going to move. Oh, hang on, hang on. No, 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 there's more to this room. We don't unveil, un unveil, unveil, reveal, runveil. Anyway, we don't figure out what's in the room until we're fully in the room. That's what I'm trying to say there. Uh, sure, shoot the thing. Why not? Go ahead and just tag that. Good. Uh, who else has still got some moves? You do. Why don't you come in? How much is your wind blast again in terms of energy? It's five. You've only got 11 left. 
I'm going to actually just back burn. Actually, you could meditate. That will bring your, your energy back quicker. Meditate. Uh, meditate yourself. Yeah, meditate yourself. There you go. And then you just come in the door. You're not really going to be able to do anything. And you also come in the door and do basically nothing at all. I'm assuming the green arrow is our intended destination. as That's where we're trying to get to. Yep, I'm fine with not having my freezing rain. Oh, he has um, chosen to do nothing. Neat. Right. Uh, do a precise shot on him. Thank you. And you should have... Yeah, you got much more energy now. Are you... Can you not move? Are you stuck meditating or something? Okay, well, do your wind blast then. And, I don't know, bump him that way. Just just see what... Yeah, there we go. That We've solved that problem. You, come over here and see what else is in the fog of war over here. Anything? Oh, yeah, another fire slime. That's fine. It's all fine. Everything's 100% fine. You come over here and do whatever it is you feel you do, which is not much. I mean, you could heal off that one last bit of damage that you took, but it seems hardly worth it. Go ahead and end the turn. And then, yeah, you're going... Where are you going? Ah, you missed. I like it when you miss. Missing's my favorite thing that you do. Uh, go ahead and do the Mighty Slash on him. Or her. Or the gender-neutral slime. I don't care. Now, test time. Can we attack diagonally? So can I do this? No. Okay. I can't attack diagonally. That's fine. That's fine. We'll, we'll learn to cope with that information. Uh, Gwenol, can you just shoot him from where you are right now? There's got to be some kind of range on the archers. I just haven't been in a big enough area to discover it yet. At least that's what I would assume. And you, again, probably don't do fire on the fire slime. But can you do another wind blast and bump him? Bump him over there, actually. Oh, never mind. He's dead. Ah, so the green arrow is the next level of the dungeon. Further into the dungeon, and we'll get all our energy back. So yes, let's go through there. Probably going to be more slime, seeing as that's exactly the quest that we signed up for. I got one over here. We're skewing a little high in the fire slime thing, which does kind of take Aspalia's main ability off the table in that setting fire to fire is probably not what we need to do. But we can get up in here. Oh, there's... What are you? What do you do for a living? Ooh, lightning slime. I don't like the sound of that. But there is one of those ice slimes, so we'll set that ice slime on fire rather than setting the fire on fire or the lightning on fire because I'm not really sure what would happen there. What is this one again? Oh, Penetrating Stab, right. That goes through armor. I, does a slime have armor? Actually, can I tell? Do, can I tell any information about the slime apart from its health and energy? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, just do regular hit on this guy. Fine. Perfectly acceptable thing that you did there. You are going to come... Actually, you don't need to come that far. Why don't you come up here? I wonder if range affects chance to hit. If we were farther away, we'd have less chance to hit. That should be how, like, things work. But, yeah, you're dead. You're dead. Aspalia, I'm really coming to like you. I am just coming on to your side of things. I like what you're thinking here, and I like the way you're executing it. You're not going to be able to do really anything at all. I'm just going to check one more time. Can't attack diagonally. No, cannot attack diagonally. Uh, why don't you just do a regular attack on this guy? Okay, solid shot there. He's almost done. And then that will do it for... Oh, actually, hang on. No. No, I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to do my, my freezing rain here on that guy. Because I don't trust him one bit. All right, so he lost some energy, lost some health. That's a pretty decent strike there. End that turn. Yet we don't need to heal anyone. Fire Slime is running away and then setting fire to... What's her name there? And then she's been lightninged and stunned and burning. Okay, she's having a bad day. Not Not an ideal day for her. However, let's just go ahead and I'm threatened by... Oh, oh you're stunned. Yeah, you're not going to do anything, are you? Yeah, you're not going to do Jack. Why don't we... Let's see what fire does to lightning, because I actually don't know the... It kills it. Great. Good. Excellent. Uh, you go up here and hit this guy, please. Just a regular hit, because we have the archer for backup, although you've already killed it. Well done. Uh, is my healer... Still, no, you have no actions because you just killed a thing. Okay, well, no healing for you then, young lady. Oh, Halia took a little more damage from burning, and this guy showed up, an earth slime. How is your, your energy is not where I'd like it to be? 
I'd like you to be having more energy, but I'd also like you to really set fire to the Earth's slime, please. Okay. Took some damage, and it's burning. You, do your precise shot on that, please. Thank you. Good job. You, Dalek, are going to heal, uh, what's her name here? Halia. Okay, that'll top you off a little bit. And then Halia, you can come over here, and if the Earth Slime isn't dead by the time you get there, you've got an Ice Slime to deal with. Earth Slime goes in and actually punches Halia. That was really good. Oh, we're still burning. We're still all icy. You've got three energy back. You got basically just enough for another Fire Blast, but that will take out the Ice Slime. Not No, you have not exactly enough for that. My mistake. Uh, you know what? Meditate then. Yeah, do that, please. You are really, really good, and you got some great abilities, but I have to use them a little more conservatively because they're super strong, but they also consume a super large amount of energy. You just do a regular shot on the Earth Slime. Ah, the one time I didn't want you to miss. Well, actually, I never want you to miss, but the one time that I really, really didn't want you to miss. How about we just slash this thing? There we go. Solved his issue. You can come over here and get ready to hit something. How uh, how often can we do this? Is there any limit on that? Doesn't appear to be. Well, then heal yourself. You've taken a little bit of damage. There you go. Topped you off nicely there. Ice Slime gets in a good shot at Dalek here, but I think we've got this comfortably under control at this point. You can just march on up and uh, do your Mighty Slash on the Ice Slime. Thank you. And then you... Do your power shot, precise shot on the ice slime, and the problem has been solved. Now, I'm still hearing more slime action around here. Let's go. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I thought there might be a problem lurking over here. Okay, come on over here. Everybody, come on over here. Uh, Espalia, what's your... Yeah, your energy's right up back to where I want it to be. How about a good old-fashioned wind blast? Because we're definitely not going to use the fire blast. Bump him over here. Thank you, so he'll be closer. And then you, well, here's a good range test. Can you shoot from all the way over there? Yep, no problem at all. Okay, everybody just do your thing. Yeah, I know, I've got some abilities. That's fine, that's fine. Oh, you're you're making a weird move. You're setting fire to Espalia. That wasn't very nice. And you electrocute, what the heck are you? You're a big ice slime. Okay, okay. That got a little more real. You have a lot of health but you're ice. And Espalia, Espalia took a major in fire with a minor in you gonna die now. So go ahead and yeah, that's gonna be good. That's gonna be some good stuff right there. Uh, how much health do you have left? Why don't you come? Oh, you're stunned. Sorry. Yep. Forgot about that. You come down here and do, do the mighty slash on this one. Good. That's dead. That problem has been dealt with. How can you shoot this guy? Do you actually have a clear shot there. I just want to see. Yeah, apparently you do. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. He's less than half health at this point. Good. Excellent. I'm really glad I took Espalia. I'm liking her. Yeah, I know I've got a thing. Actually, this might not be a bad time for that thing. So come in and do that to this guy, please. Lost some energy, lost some health. Actually, you have very little energy. I bet you don't have the energy to do an attack anymore. Good. Okay, yeah, end that turn. You're still burning, and it looks like you took extra damage because you're vulnerable to that. You're immune to stun. You're not immune to getting hit by ice, though. All right, there's a lot going on here, but it's all completely 100% under control because do I have enough? Seven. Uh, you have how much? Nine. Yep, we are going to set fire to the ice slime again. Boom. Done. You, come up here. Hit this guy in the face. Uh, well, whatever passes for its face anyway. Do a mighty slash there. Quest complete. And everybody gets a level up at the end of that, plus 200 gold. That is nice stuff. So I've got three points that I can put into their main stats, toughness, agility, and willpower. Well, I definitely want Espalia to have more willpower so she gets back more energy every turn. So at 18, I get three. How much with 19? Yeah, I know what it does. How about 20? There we go. Okay, so got four energy per turn coming back, and have one of agility just for a little bit of extra dodging. Okay, I like you. That's good. Now you, Dalek, you've got a little bit of everything going on. You're a bit of an all-rounder with the healing and the hitting things in the face. 
So I'm just going to spread the love between you. That still did bump up your energy per turn, putting it at 15, though. Gwenel, you should probably excel in agility because that's like your thing. So have that and then have ah, one point of willpower. Why not? Halia, let's get your old toughness going up there. And then how about an agility for dodging? Okay, good. Oh, and I myself have leveled up, so I get a new spell choice. So I could go down this tree that I started. I could get cold two. That'll do six damage and reduce energy by eight. Or I could set fire to things. I already like the sound of that. I think me and Espalia would get along very, very well. Four damage and then one for every three turns. Or I could do something sensible like actually heal people. That probably would not be the stupidest idea. We'll get setting people on fire next time. We'll get this one for right now. And I have been advised that some of my party members may want to have a chit-chat with me about the quest they were just on. So, Dalek, what's your deal? I'll ask about the previous quest. It was filthy in there. And those slimy things, just look at how they soiled my jacket. Oh, my precious jacket. What a baby. My own robes have been covered in grease stains for years. You don't see me whinging about it, do you? Just for that, I'm sending you the cleaning bill. Okay, um, we're going to leave Dalek alone right now. Halia, how do you feel about the quest we were just on? We'll be fighting more than just slimes, I hope. I don't know. I thought the slimes were a good run for our money there. We learned a lot, Halia. We learned about vulnerabilities, using the right elemental ability against the opposite sort of element. You got in some good hits. I feel it was a pretty good time, Halia, but apparently you don't. You're new here. Don't go making demands about what we should and shouldn't be fighting. You'll fight a spoon if I tell you to. I wasn't making demands. I merely said I hope we'd be fighting more than slimes. No, no. Can we get to the spoon fight? I, I would like Halia to be... Go fight a spoon! Do it now. <laughs> okay. Yes, thank you. <laughs> no. <laughs> the spoon <laughs> wins by forfeit. Would you care to fight again? Double or nothing. <laughs> double what or nothing? Good good comeback, Yahalia. Double double spoons, I suppose. Double spoons. Do you know what this means? We could share a dessert. Yummy. It's all gone very weird here. I'll eat the left spoon and you eat the right one. Okay. I... <laughs> the spoon wins by forfeit. Uh, that is probably a good place to call it on Guildmaster for today. Do please, guys, let me know what you think of this in the comments. I would not be wholly opposed to plugging along with this for a little bit more, kind of flesh it out, see what's lurking after the tutorial, if only so I can get some more chuckles in my life, because there's some very clever, funny writing here, and I certainly appreciate it. But do please let me know in the comments what you thought of Guildmaster, and hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense! Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Bugs are inherently stupid, and they get in places and they can't get out. You know what places they get in? Things that are wide open that don't have screens over them! It's a piece of mesh! We figured this out like a hundred years ago! What is wrong with the British, the Irish? I'm just going to keep shooting Hildegrad until she goes away, which is my response to most nuns, really. So now the pit of death is carbon dioxide, polluted oxygen, polluted water, and urine. I've just made it just a little bit worse for everyone down here.